In the Barack in a Hard Place segment tonight, as you may know, the State of the Union is tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Eastern. And our team of Alan Combs and Monica Crowley have two suggestions each for Mr. Obama. So let us begin with Miss Monica. Okay, what I would like to hear him say tomorrow night, born out of a newfound sense of humility, being chastened by these Republican victories. <laughs> First of all, focus on jobs and the economy. And what you talked about with, with Newt is all tied into this deficit spending and the national debt all exploding. I would like to hear him say, look, because of these Republican victories, I've decided that I've had a come to Jesus moment. And the Republicans have been right on how to create jobs and how to stimulate the economy, namely tax cuts. What I'm going to do is not allow the Bush tax cuts to expire at the end of next year, giving the economy a little bit more certainty. I'm also going to institute a payroll tax holiday for a little while, at least make it temporary. And I'm going to institute a slew of new so you, tax for cuts everybody, for businesses for, of so all sizes. So the uh, payroll tax, which is Social Security, what yep. is it, what, about 10, 12 percent now, something like that? Yeah, something that like zone. that. So temporary you, payroll you, holiday. Temporary Payroll, payroll tax holiday. And yes. you say, well, how do you like that? It would just continue the great policies of the Bush administration. That worked real well for the economy. They did, actually. The first, yeah, we were left in great shape. Here's what, of growth. First thing he has to do is explain to the American people how his policies thus far have worked. Well, he, he will. He'll do he, that. He, I mean, you know. two things. The first thing, he's got to be very clear about this. Look, GM and Ford just announced they are hiring again. Uh, we have the stock markets rebounded. We'll, we'll assume that he's going to do all that. Okay. okay? So right. you're advising him to I'm do what him everybody knows he's going to do. But I don't think people know that. I don't think that, that message has gotten across because he's getting a lot of flack. All right. So you say the, you, your advice, President Obama, yeah. is all the good things that lay are happening. Out what he's you have before, to lay out that has worked. Why but it's he'll worked. Do that. But he will. But as but far, he, but as, far as stimulating the economy, look, mm -hmm. the problem the problem that uh, the president has is 10 percent unemployment. So yeah. he can say. Well, things are getting better, but right, right. people are going to go, well, we still have 10%. Well, it's going to get to my second right. point in a moment, but he's got to do that up front to make clear what he's done. Well, but how can he make the case that things are getting better when you have a 10% unemployment rate and a nearly 18% total if, unemployment if, if, rate? If, as Colmes pointed out, the car companies are starting to hire at lower wages, though, Colmes. You know but they're that. They're hiring, yeah. Okay. But they're, but they're hiring at lower yeah. wages. You know, it's something he says, this is a good sign. It shows that we weren't totally ridiculous by propping these people up. That well, but I think that what you've seen in the, the rejection of these Democratic candidates in these three big states over the last couple of months is that voters are rejecting the wholesale attack on the free market with bailouts, stimulus, cap and trade, and of course, the government of But if it turns around, will they, if, if things do get better, won't they say, well, bit, now that it's working? That's a big if. Right. So far, we do not have that. He's going to have a very difficult time making that case. Tomorrow but he's going to make it. You agree with him? He will try. Yes, he will. Okay. Second uh, thing? Go. Second thing, terrorism. Uh, I think that in the wake of the Christmas Day bomber, he's got to look a lot stronger in this. So what I would like to hear him say tomorrow is this. I've learned my lesson here. I'm no longer going to treat this as a law enforcement issue. I'm going to treat it as acts of war against the United States. Therefore, as much as it kills me to say this, President Bush was right on counterterror. I'm going to keep Guantanamo open. I'm going to use enhanced interrogation techniques. I'm going to indefinitely detain terrorist suspects. I'm going to use rendition. And I'm not going to bring Khalid Sheikh Mohammed to New York. No, I know that's asking I, I a lot, but I think I if think he does that, the he odds of that happening. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, I know. Let me let me try to put that in perspective, thinking. Lady B. The <laughs> odds of that happening are the same as Combs taking Manning's place at quarterback yeah, for the not Super Bowl. Not okay. Okay. Now, that, you know. now, Monica, right. we. We asked you to come up with some suggestions, yes. not and I the am. twilight zone. And I, and you know but what? he's not going to do that I, ever. I understand. This is my wish list, Bill, because I think he could gain a lot of credibility, even yeah. if he announces just one of them. Yeah, you know, the Khalid Sheikh uh, my beloved sister-in-law wants the Bush administration to come back. Yes, you I do. You want the same economic we were policies, safe then. and you want the same illegal, unconstitutional policies. Right. That he calms, did in terms calms. Of rendering there's no and doubt, yeah. and I'll get just your second one yeah. in a moment. There's no doubt he's getting hurt on a terror front. It's yeah. insane, as I said, this yeah. whole underwear bomber thing, how yeah. embarrassing is this? Even yeah. you have to admit he's, it's embarrassing. And he's addressed that, and he will continue to he's address addressed that. He's addressed it how? But he's addressed The that. guy's still sitting in a civilian prison yeah. in Detroit. George W. Bush wanted civil trials for these people. He wanted to close Guantanamo. That's what he was going to do. You're going way beyond what Bush said he was going to do. I Not would like, Cheney, but Bush. The only thing that you said that was remotely could happen would be the coerced interrogation. But what I'd like to see happen is that you have waterboarding right there. And then we'd have a demonstration on how we're bringing it back. And he right. dunks Nancy Pelosi. Can we Pelosi do it on Nancy Pelosi? Yeah. yeah. Number two.